When you call me, I'll be there. I don't care. You're my WC. Oh my. When you call me, I'll be there. Your girls be hating when I come around, but I don't care. You're my WC. be heartbroken than hungry <laughs> it, literally the day that i quit my job i got home i literally only burst in tears <laughs> it's just it's been just over a year and i've literally i was on 17,000 subscribers and we're now on 120,000 120,000 subscribers that's <laughs> that's crazy to me you know hello everybody welcome welcome back how you doing how you feeling i'm feeling real good right now um Today's video is a tutorial. I don't know where it's gonna go, but we're gonna see. Um, I started off with this hair, which is from Premier Lace Wigs. Comes in a box like this. Um, a couple bits and bobs inside. Some um, a wig cap, instructions, an elastic band. So yeah, I just placed that on my head. It was actually a bit of a struggle. I'm not gonna lie. You like it was curly hair is always a bit more work you gotta put in that work to see the fleek <laughs> when you call me i'll be there i don't care you're my wc When you call me, I'll be there Your girls be hitting when I come around But I don't care You're my WC one time and yeah it's gonna probably be a vibrant summer look you know bit of color we'll see how it goes let's get it okay we're gonna start by color correcting our lids we need an even base to start off with you know so just use a concealer to cover up all of it so your lid space is all one even color you know what i'm saying so the um neon can pop more look here whenever i want to start recording this is when my neighbors want to do kiki kiki wanted to bring out their motorbikes they want to have a mother's meeting for what it's like i'm just trying to make a living okay you just not can you hear that oh. seriously dog like seriously y'all really petty and then you want to set that with your setting powder my setting powder of choice is laura mercier okay so now we're gonna move on to the lid space um i think i'm just gonna wing it i think i'm just gonna dab it with my finger because i don't think i can use a brush because it's liquid like it's not gonna it's not gonna work sis. so i'm just gonna start with placing it all over the lid and i'm gonna dab it with my finger doesn't have to be too perfect because it's a glossy lid at the end of the day like it doesn't have to be perfect at all just make sure it's somewhat even just padding motions 
and then drag it out a little bit you can clean that up with concealer later this color is so pretty right this looks a bit crazy but it's fine we're gonna make it work oh so now we're gonna go in with some gloss just use your finger honestly and just just add the gloss on the lid it's really self-explanatory cute when i first heard about glossy lids i really thought it was so scary but and then i watched the tutorial and someone literally did i took the beauty supply lip gloss and put it on their lids and it worked so that's what we're finna do it just the concept looks weird but i think once we put lashes on it's gonna be fine and then we're gonna clean it up just clean up the edges with some concealer make it look sharp and then blend it out for now very different very out there for me but it's cool i like it okay we're gonna move on to the rest of our face now my huda beauty full filter foundation revolution foundation in f16 around my mouth for discoloration with a flat brush and mix that all together mix 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 Do you guys like mukbangs? I really want to do a mukbang. Because <laughs> I love to eat and I love to talk. So I think when my sister moves back home, I'm finna do a mukbang. Like, why not? So ask me questions in the description box. The more makeup I put on, the more this glossy lid is coming together. I'm feeling it. I love it when I don't have a clue what I'm going to do. And then it just work, kind of works out. Anyway, I'm moving on to my... I'm so hot, I don't even know what I'm saying, like, whew, I'm loving it though, I don't understand why people are complaining, people are, like, this is the hottest summer of the UK, and people be out here complaining, saying it's too hot, oh my god, I hate the summer, like, I literally, I'm dying, like, take me to the maker right now, <laughs> I'm like, sis, are you, are you actually normal, are you normal, honestly, like, I'm living my best life like sometimes I'm so hot like I don't even wear makeup but because the sun you know that sun filter like that vitamin D when it touches your skin like you don't even need makeup like ugh, I'm ugh, I just wish this is why I feel like I deserve to live in a hot country <laughs> I mean like, I could actually deserve it I need to live in a hot country the cold is not for me I'm my best self when I'm warm I actually can't take being cold being cold and being hungry who can relate like, I don't know which one's worse though. Which one would you rather be? Starving or freezing? I can't function when I'm cold. I can't function when I'm hungry. I'd rather be heartbroken than hungry. <laughs> I'm actually not playing. I'm going to go in with my Revolution Pro Conceal in C12 to brighten up my under eyes. Now I'm going to go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit in the lightest shade. Just directly, just a touch under my eyes because I just feel like it makes your face look like you've just gone under like a double facelift. Like your face looks out of this world snatched. Oh my gosh, I'm hungry. But we can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Geek, what? I'm so proud of Saweetie. Guys, do you remember when I did that lookbook like nearly a year ago now? last autumn and i used saweetie's song and she was like on one million views or something now sis is on god knows how many millions like she is killing it i'm so proud of her i'm saying i'm so proud of her like say i know her from adam like she's my second cousin's sisters friends mom's uncle's daughter <laughs> but no honestly like i feel like Oh, when I discovered her, I was just like, who is she? And yeah, she's just killing it so much and I'm living for it. She's on tour now. It's crazy. Life is crazy, huh? Follow your dreams, sis. You never actually know. Like, if you're talented, use your talents. It's like, you actually only have one life. When I deep that, yeah, it's crazy. You actually have one life to do everything that you want to do. And sometimes we just we just waste so much time and it's so scary like when you actually deep it sometimes it hits me I'm just like <laughs> but then it's too late it's like midnight and I'm like I've wasted the whole day I ask God for your purpose 
and he'll reveal it to you like if you're a bit worried about what you want to do or if something's on your heart if something's already on your heart then the likelihood is that is your purpose like god puts things on our heart that's why we need to guard our hearts because it says in the bible that um all the issues of life flow from your heart so including your dreams including your purpose so wait let me let me just read it to y'all let me just read it to y'all pull up the bible real quick in the middle of a face tutorial while i'm baking my face like that's funny because it's just easier that way like when you know that god's got you and this is your purpose this is god's plan it's just a lot easier you know um i was reading in proverbs okay it says many are the plans in a person's heart but it's the lord's purpose that prevails so you guys can have all the plans in the world but if you're not walking in purpose then it's a little bit pointless because we really have one life and you can't just go forever like just winging it you know what i mean like fight figure out what you're here to do and do it because if it's in god's plan then he will always establish it for you like you ain't even gotta worry you ain't gotta stress like he's gonna be there for you you know yeah that was the fenty beauty contour matchstick um yeah like i remember when um i was about to quit my job obviously it was so scary and i was like oh my god what if this is actually god's plan like what if i flop i was on seventeen thousand subscribers by the way but it just kept being on my heart and the more i like the more i was pressed about it the more i you know um prayed more about it the more god was showing me like you you don't need to be here like you actually don't need to be here so many things happened I, this could be a whole separate video so many things literally as soon as i kept praying about it okay i'm an emotional person but like i don't cry for no reason but literally at work i burst out in tears one day because there was just so much stress there was just so many signs and i was like you know what i'm fin and then one, one of the days where some things were going hella wrong um i got a taxi home home because i had enough like i was like i'm not going on pu public transport so i can break down on the train i was in a taxi home i was on instagram and um annie dreyer's i told her this actually i don't know if she remembers because <laughs> it was at the boohoo event but um i was watching um annie dreyer's instagram live and she had just quit her job and i was just like wow like this is too crazy she was talking about it on her live like um why she quit her job and why she encourages people um if they if they have that on their heart to do so because um life is too short this and that and i was just like if this ain't god then i don't know what is you know so and then there was also like a couple of weeks later um lizzie loves i uh, had a video about something similar and i actually remembered i commented i'm gonna try and find the comment <laughs> i don't know if it's still there but you did a video about um how she working full time and this and this and i was like it's time for me to go sis it's time for me like i was only on 17k but too many things like once i prayed about it too many signs i was like i'm not gonna pray about it then flip it and then ignore these signs you know so yeah i did it i quit i handed my notice and it was the best thing i ever flipping did in that whole year like it was literally i was so shook but it was crazy and i got home imagine this is how i know this is how i know this is god's plan and like this stuff is real it, literally the day that i quit my job i got home i literally only burst in tears like, when i saw this i got home and on the tv was my mom didn't know that was my last day either like it was just randomly on the tv it was on bbc news and there was a video about um youtube and like how people are um you know doing youtube full time and how you know they're changing their lives and how they're helping others and this and this and um i remember habibi de silva which is a girl from birmingham was playing at like was being interviewed at that exact time that i walked in and i was just like but yeah i don't know why i'm talking about this this is i didn't even plan it i planned to listen to music and beat my face but i just felt it in my heart like it just came out and i'm just sure that i'm talking to one of you or at least, even if it's one of you like this is honestly the best decision i ever made and i just feel like i would wish that for everybody that you know um that is scared to do it it's just it's been just over a year and i've literally i was on 17,000 subscribers and we're now on 120,000 120,000 subscribers that's that's crazy to me you know so if you guys want any advice or anything like that like please feel more than free to email me actually yeah email me because dm is dming is a little bit hard like to keep up with so if you email me i'm gonna leave my email in the, on the screen um if you guys need any advice or how i did it or anything like that 
holler at your girl life is what you make it honestly and truly it sounds cliche but like life is actually what you make it are you actually gonna waste your life doing something that you don't want to do something that your parents have forced you to do they're not going to be living your life like they're not going to be the ones that are going to that dead job that you don't want to do every morning like they're not going to be doing that you think it's a joke okay this is my um mac fix plus i'm gonna go neutral on my lips and i saw this quote earlier and it was like my dream is to make a life that i don't want a vacation from i just thought yes come through with the knowledge like imagine just enjoying your life so much that you're just like I don't need a vacation from this or your job is to be on vacation like there's also that you could be a travel travel blogger like how crazy i'm gonna dab a little bit of that lip paint in the middle just a touch in the middle also use it as a cheek stain mm-hmm mm -hmm. very pretty I'll be the